Hi guys, I am here asking for advice. We don't have quite enough room to grow flowers at home, so I am going to use some of our little strip of grass at our office. We're going to remove the grass and put in bushes and sunflowers and zinnias. And let me show you this little strip of grass behind me, all the way back there to past where I'm standing here is 77 feet and it is 10 feet wide so it's not a lot of room but it's it's great it's great to have extra room so how can I not mess this up um, I'm gonna put in bushes and we're gonna remove the grass this weekend and then I'm gonna put in my sunflowers and my zinnias but if you have advice what bushes to put in and um, what's the procedure, strip the grass, add compost is what we're going to do, and then landscape fabric, and then bushes, drip, strip tape, yeah, drip tape. So that's what that is. Over here, next to the building, I have about three feet by 60 of clover. And I just put that in because it's not only good for the soil, but um, makes it green instead of just dirt. So, if there's something I can put there, and it's mostly shady, if you can see that. I've got two trees here that come in from the neighbor's yard. One, I think, is a wax leaf privet. Let me show you this guy. Full of bees right now. And then I have this guy, which is not good for anything right now because the, the petals are falling. But this will be full of blueberries, so there'll be these branches with some leaves and blueberries in the fall. And if you recognize that tree and you know what I can do with it, that would be great. I appreciate it. And that wax leaf privet. Any problems with using that? And how long do you think the base life is? If you know, that's great. Thank you so much. And ideas for that strip of land back then would be appreciated. So thank you so much. Have a good day.